Welcome to the class. Last days we were learning about the major achievements of a Mesopotamian people. And another point is, or another achievement of Mesopotamian people is the Hammurabi God of Law. The Hammurabi God of Law is the one of the earliest complete record of a law which was founded in Mesopotamia. And another point is that the a Babylonian king called Hammurabi compiled these laws. The Babylonian king, his name is Hammurabi, he was the one who compiled or put together these laws. So since he did it, so this law is known as the Hammurabi's God of Law. He was ruling from 1792 to 1750 BCE. So next is Hammurabi's God is carved on a huge stone slab. So his laws were written or carved in a huge stones, huge stone slabs. Then these laws, the Amravi squad of laws, this listed almost 282 laws governing related to the trade and the commerce family, civil and criminal disputes. So, all these laws were containing or related to the trade, commerce, family, civil and criminal disputes. So, next is uh, these laws prescribes punishments depending on how the punishment is uh, giving to a particular person. So according to the first point is uh, the severity of the offence, the seriousness of uh, offence. According to the offence, the punishment would uh, give. The second point is that the circumstances of the offence, the situation of the offence, what was the situation of uh, this uh, uh, offense? Why, why he has uh, done this particular criminal offense? So according to the circumstances, according to the situation, the punishment is uh, given. Next point is the, the status of the offense, offender. The status of the offender the social position of the offender. According to the position of a particular person, the law and the punishment is also given. So these are the few points that we have to keep in mind when we are learning about the Murabi's God of Law. I hope you understand this particular topic. This is for today. Bye-bye.